businesses are asking for tips, and of course it's coming when we're already facing rising prices. So, when is it appropriate to tip, and how much should you tip? Well, NBC News Senior Investigative Consumer Correspondent Vicki Wynn on the case. Vic, what's the word? Good morning, Craig and Hoda. Yeah, you know we've all been at the checkout counter when we get prompted on that tablet with the tipping options, 25%, 20%, even when it's just takeout. It is causing a lot of people to add that so-called guilt tip to their purchases, and the thing is, it's happening a lot more often at businesses where you wouldn't typically tip. This morning, we have what you need to know about how much you should be adding and also when it's okay to skip that tip. From dine-in restaurants to independent coffee shops and even the vet's office, the pressure to tip has reached a tipping point. I'm sorry to say this, but tipping culture has gotten out of control. Patrons often feel guilted into adding a few bucks to the tab as more places turn to those tablets with preset tipping options. I will be ordering from the kiosk and the kiosk asks me if I want to tip. Why am I needing to tip? With takeout and delivery booming since the pandemic, many are questioning if tipping is always necessary. I'm not tipping for my food arriving cold so you could make more money. Some service workers are striking back. Videos posting online reportedly show orders piling up for people who don't tip up front. No one in their right mind is gonna wanna go five plus miles for under $3 pay. And yeah, we could get a cash tip at the end, but it's so rare it's not worth the risk. The reality, delivery drivers earn a base pay. DoorDash says that ranges from two to $10 per order, depending on time and distance. And the company says 100% of tips are passed along to drivers. Other apps have similar pay structures. While at restaurants, bartenders and waitstaff are often paid below minimum wage. One study finding more than half of their earnings come from tips alone. For that reason, etiquette experts recommend tipping 20% for average dine-in and delivery orders. If you're ordering takeout, a tip is always appreciated, though the amount you give for carryout orders can be 10 to 15% of the bill. If somebody is providing a service for us, if they are serving us, if they are putting bags of food together, I think it's very important to tip. Still, there are situations where you can turn down the tip jar. Insiders say examples include picking up clothes from the dry cleaner, or if you receive care from medical professionals. Even services from highly skilled workers like plumbers or electricians can be completed without the guilt tip. So here's the bottom line with all of this. Keep in mind, when it comes to service workers, they depend on the tips that they receive. While it was once the custom to tip after service is complete, some workers are now taking into account whether or not you tipped up front, and that could actually impact the quality of service. No judgment, but that's just the reality yeah. that people are facing. One great tip I got from Holly, who does our radio show, she was like, just keep some singles, keep some cash on you so you can yeah. add something to the tip jar. You don't feel the pressure of adding it to your credit card yeah. or whatever, but at least you're tipping. I remember you're working things. at Ponderosa a long time ago, and when people didn't tip, you couldn't believe because you were running around. Yeah. So I always feel like if you have more, give more. If you have less, give, give what you can give. You can. I, especially these guys for making below minimum. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, that's not cool. Money. Yeah. Exactly. And you can afford to tip. Yeah. 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 All right. Thank, Thank you, Vicky. You know someone who always tips? Al Roper. Al always tips. Yep. Big tipper. Learn from my my great co-anchor, Sue Simmons. Yeah. Said, you, because you're on TV, you tip a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want people talking about you. <laughs> 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 you don't want people talking about you. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, Let's be real. Uh, we got some strong